World Quality Month is also a time to take a look back at notable thought leaders who revolutionized the field. These gurus stood up to the status quo, driven by their passion for quality. Their teachings have transcended time, geography, and trends. Walter Schuhart is credited as the father of statistical quality control. Schuhart merged the disciplines of statistics, engineering, and economics and used statistical theory to address industry needs. He created the Schuhart cycle, the control chart, and many say the quality profession. W. Edwards Deming, a protege of Schuhart's, is credited with the first application of statistical quality control principles to non-manufacturing problems. Although his contributions to quality were numerous, Deming is known for his 14 points for management and his system of profound knowledge. Joseph Duran was instrumental in changing the way organizations think about quality. Duran emphasized the role of management and the human side of quality. He's also remembered for applying the Pareto Principle to quality as well as his trilogy on managing for quality planning, control and improvement. Keoru Ishikawa is probably best known for the quality tool that bears his namesake the Ishikawa or fishbone diagram. He's considered the premier quality pioneer in Japan and was largely responsible for translating Deming's and Duran's early lessons into an approach geared toward the Japanese. Phil Crosby entered the quality field in the early 1950s and helped translate quality into the language of management. He stressed the importance of doing it right the first time. He also outlined a 14-step approach to quality improvement the four absolutes of quality, and the zero defects standard. Undoubtedly, there are many quality pioneers deserving of recognition that we didn't get a chance to mention. If there is a quality professional you'd like to spotlight during World Quality Month, pay homage to them on ASQ social media at the links below.